Hi, my name is Josh Milan. I'm a 30 plus year veteran in the music industry. I'm a singer, songwriter, and producer. I'm the CEO of Honeycomb Music. I believe users all over the world care about my services because I provide soulful music, not just you know, processed music or music that is AI produced. Nothing wrong with that, but there's a yearning and a longing for music that has the human touch, of, an element of the human touch to it, and especially vocals. When uh, somebody sings with vocal, uh, soulful vocals, they always um, touch the crowd every time. If, whether that be pop soul, uh, you got Kelly Clarkson in the pop soul area, and you got people like um, uh, Lizzo or uh, Jill Scott, people that sing R&B or things like that. Uh, soulful is present, and it, it's just always it has a success rate when I see audiences hear someone that does soul. I have uh, in my possession uh, four Grammy nominations. Uh, you know, they give you the, the certificate. I have four of those. And I have uh, some gold and platinum albums from some artists that, you know, were very successful. And I, I had a hand in uh, producing and writing and playing music on that album. So, yeah, I have those things to, uh, to produce if you want to see evidence. My competitive advantage is my 30 plus years in the music industry. 30 years is a long time for anybody and I'm still relevant and I'm just somehow uh, blessed to be relevant after 30 years in the music industry. People still um, pay attention to what I'm doing. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, I have a lot of friends that I started with that just is, is not here to tell the story. So yeah. Uh, that's my competitive advantage. And also, there's also a, a very few, uh, I want to be careful, but very few producers that I've come across that produce music solely organic, just, you know, musicians playing without any sort of uh, programs involved. Now, I do use programs, but there is a number of uh, titles that I have that, that I don't. And then and it's completely organic. And I think there's just not too many people doing that. It's too risky in some uh, opinions. So that's my one of my competitive and one of my many competitive advantages. What I've accomplished a lot. I mean, I've I've, I've done a lot of, of, of great things. I've even uh, I've been greatly disappointed in the music industry. I was taken advantage of very, very badly. It was a very bad experience. Um, but uh, I believe the greatest accomplishment that I've accomplished while in the music industry was this degree here at Full Sail. I am a high school dropout. And my mom, when I was in school, that is, very much wanted me to finish high school and, you know, go to college. And she was just very big about that. But me, of course, I got a taste of the music industry very early on and I left high school. Left high school, I was 15 years old. And I signed a major record deal and, and just got, you know, just blew up, you know what I mean? It was, it was amazing, it was an amazing time. However, the education part of it broke my mom's heart. And so, uh, to make a long story short, uh, I know that she wanted me to get this, you know, get a degree. And granted, she passed away in 2006. But in my heart, this degree is all about mom. So, this is probably my greatest accomplishment. I have a couple of follow-up questions I want to run by you. Um, and number one, how long do employees keep this job? 
is it usually short or a long tenure at the, at the job? And if it's short, why do you think that is? Number two, what are the incentives for me to consider before I take this job? Is there any sort of, I mean, I'm bringing, I'm bringing value to the table and I want to know, is there any incentive for me to take the job as opposed to not taking the job? And lastly, in your opinion, what are the weak points of the label and how can this job that I'm about to, to take from you, how can my job improve uh, the weak spots of